Today we will be learning about stem and leaf plots. This is just another way to represent data so we can have a visual of what is happening with our data. So consider these numbers right here. And they all look like they're within a general kind of span of numbers. What we're going to first do is group them together by place value. So these are all two-digit numbers, so we're going to kind of group them together by the tens place. And then we're going to also put them in order. So it looks like we have numbers in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. So here are two numbers in the 30s. Let's just first write them in order, 37 and 39. Okay, so we're done with those two numbers. Let's look at the numbers in the 40s now. We've got 40, 45, and 48. And then we have 51 and 56. Now, you may not need to do this step once you see what we're really doing. Now what we're going to do is make a T-chart. We are going to call the left column the stem and the right column the leaves. So our stem is our bigger place value. So we have 30s, 40s, and 50s. So I'm going to put 3, 4, and 5. Now we're going to put the other place value, in this case our 1's place, in our leaves. So we have a 7 and a 9 here. So this represents 37, 39. We're going to do the same thing for the 4's, the 40's. We've got a 0, a 5, and an 8. So this represents 40. 45 and 48. And then 50s, we've got a 1 and a 6. So you might be able, depending upon how big your data set is, you might be able to just go right from your original data set to your stem and leaf plot. Then it's really important to put a key. We have to kind of tell your viewers what this means. So we usually just kind of pick one of these numbers here. Um, we could say we, we put a key and we say four and then we put the line that represents the dividing line and say we'll just pick one of those. We say four line five means 45. So from this we can do things like we could find the range. We can find out what the biggest number is. In this case it's 56. And the smallest number, 37, and we subtract it and we get our range. We could find the median of this, the middle number, because we just start counting like from the smallest to biggest, boom, 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 and there our median is 45. So we can do all of those same basic statistical analyses with a stem and leaf plot.